What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and a plan with me. I know I haven't done these in a really, really long time. I am starting a new bullet journal because I ran out of space in my old one, but I'm not gonna put a bunch of those like beginning spreads because I just find that I don't use them. Like those beginning calendars and the look to the futures and just all of those things I don't really use. On the first page, I did start writing down some more booktube ideas. I actually curated these from ideas that you guys have given me and also just my actual reading to zero challenge which I'm working on right now. I decided to make a big bookshelf spread to go in the beginning of this bullet journal because this bullet journal is going to be from like now until I don't know I would say December or so it might last a little bit longer than that and so I think I have around like 67 spots on this page in order for me to read that amount of books and then write the titles in. I do want to color the books in in a rainbow because that's how I have my actual shelves in real life. I even have plants and this exact same sign on my shelf. So I kind of made the shelf look like mine. I just don't have books like laying down on my shelf. Now, if you don't know what my reading to zero challenge is, I actually had made a video. It was like about booktube consumerism and just how I'm super overwhelmed with the amount of books that I have on my shelf to read. So I have a 148 books on my shelf and I decided to challenge myself to read all of those books or unhaul slash DNF by January 1st of 2023. So I have about 17 months, a year and five months in order to complete this challenge. And you guys can do it along with me if you want to use the hashtag reading to zero. It's just something that I came up with like literally a week or two ago. And I feel like this is going to be just a lot better than me constantly buying books, constantly overwhelmed with what to read and I'm doing like special themes and prompts per each month. So it's like half mood reading, half like curated in order for the decision to be made a little bit easier for me. I'm actually just super excited. I picked my TBR for August and I have that video up already and I just feel so much better about reading off of my shelf and I don't feel like I just have all these books that are like staring at me while I read all of these other books that aren't on my shelf yet or I just acquired. So I can't wait to see what this bookshelf in my bullet journal is going to look like, especially when I'm emptying my physical shelf and then this one's going to be so beautiful and colored in with all the titles. It's going to be gorgeous, I think. I'm just moving straight on to August. Like I said, I wasn't really doing a lot of like extra setups. I always use like the back of my journal to kind of figure out like colors that I want to put together. And I'm kind of doing this like yellowish, pinkish, orange ombre for August. I figured these colors are just really beautiful for that. Now I'm working on an August TBR spread and a reading stats spread. For my August TBR, this is where I kind of like figured out exactly what books I was gonna read. I am doing a spoiler vlog and so I have my one title for that. I'm gonna be working on two secret TBRs, which I did not write the titles in this video because you guys are probably sneaky and trying to figure those out, but I'm reading two books for each one. And then for my prompts that I have, I did an Instagram prompt, which it's actually going to be from YouTube from now on. But on Instagram, I asked you guys for reading prompts and then I just randomized it and picked one. And that one ended up being a number in the title. So I'm reading three women for that one. But from now on, the months are, it's actually going to be on YouTube where I pick a random comment with a reading prompt. Then for the actual prompt for August, like if you're participating in the challenge with me, it's to randomize a number. So for instance, I have a 148 books on my shelf. I just did a random number generator from one to 148 and it picked 13. So I had to count my books in order and pick the 13th book to read. So that was Back to Delaware, which is a, I think it's an erotic romance. Then for my theme, the theme of this month is to read a favorite genre and I'm going to be reading a memoir since that is an upcoming favorite genre. And I have a lot of thrillers on my secret TBR. And then last but not least, I'm going to be reading like a publisher or new release that I need to get to. And so I picked a nonfiction book about a survivor who was a victim of gun violence. So I'm actually really excited to read that and hear her story. And then for my reading stats, I'm just keeping track of the few genres that I'm reading that month. I'm going to keep track of my total pages, the total number of books, the star rating, whether I DNF'd it, 
if I read it on like physical or audio or a combo. And then I'm just gonna write my final book list and my final video list there. So I'm hoping that that helps a little bit with just my wrap ups in general. Sometimes I feel like if I go too much into detail with my wrap ups, they become extremely intimidating. And then I just don't wanna film them because I have to like do all of these stats and add up all of these things. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to like talk about the books without all that added stuff with it. Okay, now moving on to my actual August spreads. I'm just doing a little calendar cut in half. I don't use calendars that much. I don't know if it's because I just don't plan a lot of stuff into my day. Like I don't really like being held to a specific schedule where I have to go and do a million things. I like being like in my house. Um, and then I also am doing a habit spread with just some things that I wanted to work on. I'm gonna be doing a whole 30, so the no alcohol is kind of a given, but we'll see if I actually get to cross those out. I also have read before bed because I would really like to get my sleep a little bit better. I think it's been lacking. And so I think reading before bed and going to bed a little earlier will help with that instead of me watching Mad Men for hours and hours or TikTok, either one. Those are my guilty pleasures at the moment. Then, like I said, I'm doing a Whole30. This is like a food diet challenge thing. So you take out like a bunch of processed foods. You take out like gluten and dairy, alcohol and sugar and legumes and all of this stuff just so that way you can focus on like really whole foods. I've done it multiple times. Times. Um, I'm doing it to in order to get my eating back on schedule and I figured I would just cross off the days that I actually complete it and then I can write my favorite meals and non-scale victories even though I'm totally doing this for the scale let's be honest but you're not supposed to weigh yourself for all 30 days which I think I'm gonna do because like you know it's honestly just good to not have that number staring at me the whole time and if I feel the best all the month long what does it matter what the scale says right yeah I'm telling myself that but We'll see what happens. Then this is actually my least favorite spread. Like I was really liking it when I was setting it up and then today I actually just hate it. I don't know why. It seems very messy. I think it's because I wrote all of my ingredients in the middle. Like that's my shopping list. Uh, but this is just a meal plan. So a meal plan for the first week of Whole30. I just, you know, followed one cookbook and wrote down meals that I wanted to do. And then I wrote down all of the ingredients that I need to get but I hate it. So that's why it's only week one because I'm probably gonna change this for the rest of the weeks. I'll probably just do a regular list form because I'm simple like that. And I'm not doing any like dailies or anything like that because I'm just gonna do it, you know, my basic where I turn the page and I write the day and then I just write a huge to-do list and then I just cross it off. And you know, I don't know, that's just how my mind works. And let's just flip through the rest of this bullet journal now. I love how most of it turned out. Um, I love the color scheme. I really love the bookshelf that I drew. Um, and then, you know, the last page is trash, but we'll fix it. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone.